In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly King, Comforter, Spirit of Truth, present everywhere and filling all things, treasury of blessings and giver of life, come dwell within us and cleanse us of every stain, and, O good one, save our souls. Thank you for joining me on another one of our psalm meditations using the psalms of the Byzantine Daily Office. Uh, it's very early in the morning as I record. I'm still drinking my coffee. But I looked at the psalm text today and I just wanted to do this video. Today we're looking at the sixth psalm of that open matins every day. It's Psalm 142 in the Greek numbering and Psalm 143 in the Hebrew numbering. As always, there's a link below to explain why the psalm numberings are different in the Greek and the Hebrew. And there's also a link to the Greek and Hebrew text and some other translations. Uh, feel free to not take my word for anything. I'm just meditating on the text. Anyway, um, I'll, I'd like to do something different and read through this psalm with you in our time today. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a prayer to begin the day with, even if you don't read the Byzantine psalms. If you can imagine uh, saying this psalm as you're lying in bed, uh, with your eyes still closed before the alarm goes off or, or maybe just after the alarm goes off and you've reached over or you've said Google stop like I do, um, it, uh, it's okay. It, lying in bed with your eyes closed as if you were lying in the grave dead. And then this prayer starts, Lord, hear my prayer. In your truth, give ear to my supplication, and in your justice, hear me. Uh, do not judge me. Do not enter into judgment with your serving. For, in fact, no one living can be justified in the sight of God. We know that everyone is a sinner and has fallen short of the glory of God. That means the glory that he has planned for us, right? Um, and then the enemy has pursued my soul and humbled my life to the ground, made me to dwell in darkness as if I was dead. Um, human weakness has left us needing sleep. Human weakness is caused by sin. We have no idea what humanity would have been like uh, had we not sinned. That's, this is all we know. And so every night we go through this simulacrum of death that we call sleep. We lie down as if in the grave. Uh, the Byzantine prayers say, uh, it, you know, is this bed to be my coffin? Here, death confronts me. And we say that at night before we go to bed. Uh, over the bed. It, will I die in this? I don't know. Um, and the enemies are not human persons, but demons, as I've said several times in these videos already, and I will say it many more times. The only, the only goal of any human life is union with God, and the only enemies to that union are the demons who are so jealous of what God has planned for us that they even use other human beings to, to distract us, to detract us from that goal. So the enemies are not the human beings that are being used but the demons who are using them. And my enemies have pursued my soul and humbled my life to the ground. My spirit grows weary. I remembered the days of old, and I meditated on the works of God. So lying in bed, I still close, remembering that God has always done good for me. Not just for me, but for everyone. It gives me hope. I made the work of your hands my meditation, and so I stretched out my hands to you, lying in bed, reaching up towards God. <sighs> my soul thirsted for you like a waterless land. My first thought upon waking up is often, give me coffee, but 
why is it not give me God, right? Like that's what we should be doing is reaching out to God the, w the way I, I eagerly reach out for coffee in the morning. So, hear me swiftly, Lord. My spirit has failed. Do not turn away from me, or I will be like those who are dead. I won't just be lying here uh, in, in, in my bed as, as if it were a coffin. If God turns away from me, I will be dead. Make known to me the way in which I need to walk today. Teach me to do your will. Deliver me from my enemies. I am running to you, God, for shelter. Teach me to do your will. For your namesake, O Lord, give me life. And you will bring me out of trouble. You will slay my enemies, and again, that is, the demons, and all who afflict my soul. For I begin this day as your servant. This psalm is, is, is such a wonderful way for Matins to to begin as if I, the speaker, were rising from the dead to do God's will. So in that sense, Matins, or as it's called in Greek, Orthros, becomes a celebration daily, certainly on Sundays, of the resurrection of Jesus and the resurrection that we all experience as we wake up in the mornings. So imagine again, that you're lying in bed, eyes closed. Lord, I'm about to begin this day. I know that I am a sinner and that everyone in your sight is a sinner. There are forces at work against me. Destroy them. Let me rise in the knowledge of your commandments to do your will in my life. And I will give you glory. I am your servant. And then you open your eyes and you get out of bed. Amen. It is truly me to bless you, the Theotokos, ever blessed and most blameless, and the mother of our God, more honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare more glorious than the seraphim. Without corruption you gave birth to God the Word, Truly the Theotokos, we magnify you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.